And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Riven Swain. We got another Riven deck, this time with Swain and Ionia. And we have like some pretty cool little combos with this deck. So we're going to, you know, we're going to be, first of all, we're going to be reforging with Riven. So whenever we gain the attack token with, with Riven, we reforge. And we have some of Riven's other cards that let us reforge to get these uh, different blade fragments and they can definitely be useful in different ways one we have the overwhelm which overwhelm with swain is going to be awesome because if if swain nexus strikes it does three an additional three to their nexus or if you have leveled up swain with overwhelm obviously that's where it's going to be really good the three to everything so that so that's going to be nice but then also the other blade fragments gonna be quick attack we're going to have this glory seeker that's going to be awesome with quick attack um so we have uh we have that uh, let's see, besides that, we have some different damage things. We're not like the best Noxion Fervor deck, but Noxion Fervor is just a really good way to level up Swain. And that's something that uh, we need to try to figure out is how to level up Swain. So that's going to be a really good way to do it. We, of course, have like the Sentry Flock combo in here. We got Blade's Edge to kill Zoe's um, or hurt something for Guillotine. Um, we have one Retreat. I've been really happy with Retreat recently, and I feel like um, we can get some pretty good value with the Return with Shadow Assassin and Riven. So we got that going on. Um, but then the spicy one that we have at the top end, this card is is a pretty underrated card. We got Dragon's Rage in here. So Dragon's Rage says an ally kicks an enemy into the enemy nexus, striking both. So you strike the enemy, and then you also strike the enemy nexus. And why that's really important is because if you have leveled up Swain, and you get to Dragon's Rage on the Swain, it strikes the enemy nexus, so therefore it does three to all enemies and the enemy nexus. So we'll do, so basically, you know, you you can kick something into the nexus, and then boom, you strike the nexus, and now do another three to the nexus, and then also and three to all the enemies. So that's an awesome combination. So we got that going on. Plus, dragon's rage on just like some of these other kind of larger things can be pretty good too, or on you know something like leviathan can be pretty nice too. Yeah, so that's that's gonna be our deck. So we're gonna play some Riven Swain. Should be pretty awesome. Mostly all Noxus, just a little bit of Ionia in here. We're gonna go play our five games in ranked. The Riven cards for Overwhelm. No might. All right, playing against some Burn. Burn's always pretty tough. We don't really have anything to turn on these these ravenous flocks right now. I'm gonna just do a full mole, honestly. Glory Seeker can be good at like killing a champion, but our hand was pretty bad. I didn't want to just keep that because you know it doesn't block. Is he here yet? Oh, man. All right, well, really good start for them. One drop, House Spider Draven. Even better. Now I get you, Flock. I was born in <laughs> now that I just use my banana, and I you know won't have the Sentry Flock combo to kill the Draven. If one of these cards is vision and they just you know go block vision, like that'd be bad for me. Right, cool. Down to 12. So we're at 7. Raven? Overwhelm. I'm worried about Jinx. If I play Swain, I won't have the mana to fervor to kill the Jinx. 
think I still play it though. <clears throat> I don't really mind seeing that. Like, you know, like that's it's gonna hurt, but it's not going to completely kill me. Kill me. All right, so I didn't play the last one. I stand for Noxus. I want to just fervor and then guillotine this thing, so it's just out of here. Because if I go sentry and stun the crowd favorite, then it goes back to my turn. And then I guess I could try to fervor and guillotine to kill it. Okay, I guess this is the safest play. Okay, because in case they, because in case this is like Mystic Shot that doesn't allow me to fervor. This is the safest play. Not let that thing attack. Get damage in on it right now. Alright, good. This won't quite kill them. So close. We are at war. Fate brings us together. Put them down to one. And of course, doing this during combat so they don't just play another three plus power thing that blocks. I guess you'd have overwhelm anyway. So close. They're down to one. I'm on the verge of something. That's fine. Hmm, I wonder. Uh, we got this Leviathan here. There's rocks in the boots. All right, we're preparing the cargo. All right, that should be game. Those things won't kill me, and then Leviathan will kill them. GG's. Yeah, Swain's awesome. And that's why we have Overwhelm Swain with Riven. Or, oh yeah. Lissandra Trundle. Do I think Fervor is better than Whirling Death in the deck? It does a better job leveling up Swain. Um... You know, there's, yeah. So I, I think it's, yeah. So I think it's just fine because yeah, leveling up Swain's very important. I mean, retreat can be good. Yeah, let's just keep retreat. Like retreat's gonna be good if we find things to retreat. Like Shadow Assassin would be nice. Can we use Ice Shard to kill that thing? Opponent? If they're out there, I'll spot them. Ice to meet. Ah! 
Aha. Alright, so I could go stun. Death Hand and Flock. Fear the power. Nah, I'm just gonna play Swain. Drawn a lot of Death Hand and Ravenous Flocks. Can see the Nebastian border from here. Leave them nothing. Sentry is just really good. Such a good blocker, and then they get to draw the cards. I, I really don't want them just to draw cards. So that'll be seven. After the battle of Regions. Ten. Yay, Shadow Assassin. I mean, I have I have these other flocks. I had Glory Seer, they could challenge Lissandra's, but yeah, so now Lissandra's gonna just be leveled up whenever they play Lissandra now. So I can't I can't kill Lissandra before she levels up. So I can't do anything about that. and mind to aim its strike. The box. Alright, well I really hope they don't have an ice shard. Because I want to play this glory seeker here. Yeah, she'll create an ice shard for next turn, but um, the glory seeker will let me challenge the Lissandra. I guess no, I guess it just doesn't work, There's does it? Still much to answer for. Yeah, it's not gonna really work. Order rewards its faithful. You will do as I command. Yeah, kind of nothing I do here is going to work. It's basically if they have Spectral Matron, and I just don't think that we can really win. I'm not sure what like the seven cards ha would have to be over there that I could win. They should thank you for the truth. Plead for nothing. Victory awaits. I'm not really sure. Like I'm not really sure where they could possibly be.
So you, you can pretty safely assume that they have an avalanche in hand. Bile feast. Silent as death. That obviously gives them two watchers. And that's game over. Okay, there we go. Alright, we have Jarvan Shen. This one should be a little bit more fair, which is good for us. Hmm. Man, I want to keep these... Yeah, I don't know. I want to keep these cards, but... We don't have any early units right now. This was not... These were not two good tr cards to see... Obviously. Okay, there we go. That's better. My shield is yours. Good start. Nature blesses her followers. Who goes there? Attacking for six. It's pretty aggressive. To serve the greater good. All right, sentry. If you want to show up, that'd be nice. The balance requires a watchful eye. There's still much to answer for. So, sharp sight's a pretty safe assumption. So I go. Nature blesses her followers. No looking back. Okay. I didn't exactly expect that. Glory, cutting, Expecting a sharp sight first, and then I was going to use spells, but I guess I should just use spell first. Yeah, I guess I should just use a spell first. Man, that screeching dragon card. not good. So we're at three right now. Well, that wasn't the best. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. This could have gone better for me. With me! Shen into Screeching Dragon into Jarvan. That's some. Those are some beefy attackers. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Another Jarvan. Yeah, good game. Alright, well, probably could have played that better. 
good hand though, opponent. Good game. Yeah, Jarvan was really good. Both those Jarvans were awesome. Alright, Braum Vladimir. Not my favorite deck to play against. Kind of because I always lose. <laughs> Glory Seeker killing a Braum would be really nice. Gonna try to kill that before it grows something. Alright, that's good. Alright, so far so good. Never mind. We're not good anymore. Uh, we'll pass. I have the name. I need the reputation. That thing. I got the damage in case they're like gonna go play Ice Shard here. I got that damage in first. Cool. By attacking, like if I attack and then they Ice Shard, so they don't take the Shadow Assassin damage, then I can respond to the Ice Shard by flocking that three three. Let me show you what I can do. What's that? Some wins for us. To serve the greater good. I came to fight. Five eight. I need just a moment. I really don't have. Hope they don't have the one damage thing. I shard. Oh, avalanche. Okay. This thing's going to be tough. So this would do three to it to put it to five. This puts it down to four. Gosh, Flock doesn't even kill it. It's the best I can do, though. So I don't actually really want them to block there because I want to have my Death Sand kill the Tarkaz. So I want so that's why I did that first. Instead of just attacking first. So shiny. Yeah, Swain, because the combo with Swain and Dragon's Rage is really, really powerful.
just ran me out of cards. I've dressed for the occasion in red. <laughs> Let us get going. All right, GGs. Yeah, I just got ran out of cards because. I have like all these small units and they had, you know, like the avalanches and stuff like that that took out all my small stuff and then I have to use a ton of cards on Tarkaz and with with Scar Grounds, it's just I don't have enough cards. They have like the hidden card advantage of like all of their things you know, trade for. You know, I don't have anything that trades one for one. Guillotine would have been nice, but alright, Shivana, really and soul. We'll keep the Rune Weaver to start with. Let's try again with all the other stuff. The great um, so what's their three drop? The two four. What's a warrior? The protege. The heart and mind to aim its strike. All right, so probably Shivana next turn. Yeah, I love that about Legends of Runeterra, how generous they are with all the rewards and everything. Love that for sure. So if I pass, they pass. I waste two mana. Because if I, if I play Runeweaver, they attack. I Weapon Hilt, they Sharp Sight. I guess that gets rid of a sharp sight from them. I write the rules of power. That's not so bad. Break them. Approach savage. But see, if I if I didn't play anything, I would have had whirling death to go along with the sharp. You know, like. So I would have been able to stop this, but I was just worried. So like it would have been better for me to not do anything, but I was really worried about them completely passing and sharpen the blade, secure the kill. So I think my plan is gonna be quick attack. A soldier should know to stay out of the way. Ah, it seems to me. Me. Now we have Whirling Death. Guard the walls. Cool. No single combat. All right. So not bad. Do I want them? Do I want to play Shadow Assassin and just? Say, kill my Shadow Assassin right now. I kind of do. The order rewards its faithful. All right, this is what I'm thinking. So they challenge Shadow Assassin and kill it. And that gets rid of their attacks. I don't have to worry about them challenging my other stuff. Okay, never mind. So I was going to... Because then I, I would have, oh, you know, just used the Overwhelm, gotten the Blade of the Exile, then I was going to Blade of the Exile, the Glory Seeker, and then open attack with the Glory Seeker with the Blade of the Exile. Fly to them on broken wings. I am reformed. You are mine.
so that puts them down to two. So I know I know I could have gone like weapon hill and stuff, but you know I would just I didn't want to do stuff before fight spell. All right, so they still have three mana left, and I got two dragons rages. I can play one this turn and one next turn. So I, I liked that I just got the damage in. That's that was important. All right, they're gonna use fight spell. They can use it on my three one. All right, but yeah, they didn't have Fight Spell the rest of the time. Still didn't have it there. So we got a Dragon's Rage kill. I know what I must do. So yeah, it's kind of spreading out the threats. I know I could have, like, you know, gone for lethal by, like, buffing up Riven or, you know, I had the plus two, plus zero in hand, but I just didn't need to do anything there. And then, you know, I, I liked getting all that damage in and just, like, putting them down to two, like, while I could, right? Even though I, you know, could have gone for more. But, like, if I go for more and then they fight... Then they're at, you know, like, eight or whatever. You know, I don't, I don't know the exact amount. You know, like they're at five or, you know, like some higher amount where then it makes it more difficult for my Dragon's Rage just to kill them. So there we go. So Riven Swain, I think it did pretty good. You know, like, we're, we're in Master's rank here. Two and three is is not bad. You know, like, that's that's definitely respectable. We played against, um, you know, like, our losses, the uh, Lissandra Trundle deck. That's going to be a tough one to beat, right? Like, they, you know, can have, like, those sweepers and, you know, they had... Trundle, and then turn eight, um, Ice Pillar, plus Copy Ice Pillar, plus Lissandra to make the Watcher, and then turn nine, they had Spectral Matron for Watcher. You know, like, that's that's not really something that's easy to uh, easy to stop. And then they also had multiple of the two ones to be able to block to, you know, to keep me from being able to, to kill them and put a lot of pressure on them. You know, those with Avalanche and stuff, like, that's a good hand. And then we played against uh, Jarvan Shen and Braum Vladimir, both that had um good hands and you know jarvin was really good against us and then the other person had a couple of Brahms and a vladimir and scar ground and removal you know like those are those are good decks those are those are both very good mid-range decks that are very good in combat and they had good hands and they beat us because you know like that's what our deck is also kind of like a mid-rangey deck that's going to be in combat um so you know nothing you know nothing to be ashamed about with those kind of losses um there's a reason why those those decks are pretty good so we'll take it a good a good two and three because then you know also beating you know Shivana really and soul with you know, another good deck like that's you know you're gonna just only face good decks here in Masters rank and so playing playing your own like home brews in Masters rank you're not gonna see a lot of like four ones and five o's too often honestly and so you know going two three three two as long as the deck feels pretty good that's that's really what you want and that's you know we ended up unfortunately going two three instead of three two but I think our deck felt pretty good it felt like it it was very cohesive and uh doing its thing and everything so i liked it and we we really got to see that first game that first game was pretty awesome with the overwhelm with this the leveled up swain and then the blade fragment overwhelm from riven so you really got to see that synergy with that first game so that's awesome that was that was good that was good that, that we had that for our our first game there all right, so there we go. So that's Riven Swain. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the combination of the two. Um, if there's any, um, you know, changes that you would make to the deck or if you're trying it out yourself, if you're having any luck with it or anything like that, I'd love to see those comments. All right, but that's all I got here for Riven Swain. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.